Hello YouTube! Welcome to Pokemon Dungeons and Dragons. Our game takes place in the scenic and wild Laris region, home to some of the world's fiercest professional battlers, as well as some of the most caring trainers. Whether it be for fun, sport or fame, battles are abundant here in the Laris region, and the League Challenge is available to anyone brave enough to battle all eight Pokemon gyms in the region. Let's meet our players and heroes. Tia, playing as Phoebe Wilhelm with her Sweenub Nubster. Joel, playing as Milo Rooter with his Murkrow Monty. Jordan, playing as CJ with his Totodile Crash. Kelsey, playing as Tegan McKinley with her Rock Ruff Koa. And Ben, playing as Bentley Woods with his Magby Mortar. Our story begins on the scenic Route 101, just outside of Ambercrag City. Let's get into the action, shall we? Route 101 is a sprawling expanse of flatlands, covered mostly in sparse grasses and a few trees. The faint smell of citrus and wet earth reaches your nose as you stand on the roads. I love citrus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first city on this road, if you were to follow it south, would take you to Boriander City, uh, most known for its export of citrus, which is really faint smell. Boriander. Several days of walking and camping stand between you and your first stop on your Pokemon journey. Ooh. Yes, yes. What would you like to do? Carry camps. Several days. My god. Should probably get some toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Food. So you guys are not entirely unprepared. Okay. You have Sweet. backpacks that have supplies in them. Uh-huh. You each have a tent and a sleeping bag. Okay. You each have a tent? You each have a tent. Sick. You are all equipped with a week's worth of food in the form of like jerky and dried up rations. They're not, it's not great, but it will keep you fed. Pepper jerk. Pepper jerk. Pepper <laughs> jerk. Pepper jerk. Love, Love that. Uh, you each have some very basic cooking supplies like a pot or a pan, maybe one each. Uh, sort of just things that you've seen people cooking yeah. with. You sort of grabbed just stuff just to hit the road. Do I have a chef's money? Hat? If you want to, if you want a chef's hat, you make a chef's hat. <laughs> I have my uh, my bird training glove. Yes, you do have a bird training glove. And a lot of rocks. You <laughs> <laughs> have a lot of rocks. <laughs> CJ just carries a bag of rocks. <laughs> you never know where you're gonna To the go. safari zone! <laughs> Just inside his bag, there's no food, there's no tents, <laughs> just, just rocks. Just 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 away. I'm suing out some berries or medicine. Yeah, you have, I'll say you, for the purposes like of this, suit. you have a, a small pouch that currently has three healing berries. Do I have any Woods family Pokeballs at all? I will say you have exactly one. Oh boy. Which they're kind of like, use wisely. You know, hold out on me, Mom! <laughs> the idea is that you'll go and grow on your own. And then come back. Yeah, and, uh, they can upgrade you. A strong, independent woman. Yeah. You don't need your parents. Beautiful. Beautiful queen. Um, I think, given the the circumstances that began our journey, we should see if there's anyone around. Yeah. What are we doing? Because yeah, um, to fight. Any people? No. Or no. 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. The like, why would we need to fight already? <laughs> Do I need to punch somebody in the face? <laughs> Not yet. Yes. Calm yourself. She's feeling protective of us little children. <laughs> um, just to just to make sure because uh, you know CJ's had an altercation already, and we don't know if those people are. Uh, yeah, that's a good call. Can I ask how long after? Back. Like, what, how? When is this taking place? Like. Several weeks after we've known each other, or did we just come no, together we just, and we're just now starting? So like maybe a couple days. Okay, yeah, so we going. still we're still pretty ready. Still pretty fresh. All right. Yeah. Trust this one. So. So I want tie him up is the first thing I'd like to do. <laughs> you don't even know me. <laughs> exactly. You're crazy. Off to a great start. <laughs> yeah, it's already weird. tying each other uh, up. <laughs> I want to. I want to have Monty fly up and check around, make sure there's like nothing. Okay. Uh, go ahead and have Monty make a perception. 14. Okay. As Monty sort of takes off into the skies and does a little lazy circle around you, uh, he doesn't seem to be making any sound. Okay. 
get the get the impression you're probably all clear. Cool. All right, so then let's all s- you know, stretch out. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Like, stretch out those hands. Probably should do some some walking. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So which way are we going? Though? Uh, towards the city, right? Yeah. Towards the mountain. South, right? Yeah. yeah. How Is it much north or south? Do we know it's about like south to Oriander? Do we know about the size of the city? Like, is, can we get Amber is, Crag? It's about a third the size of Amber. Crag. Okay. So wait, wait, okay. wait. Right. What's, I, the, like, to what's the reason why we're going to the city? He already <laughs> said it was coming from. It is. It's coming from Oriander. Yeah. Oriander's yeah. major yeah. exporter. I thought it was. We came together for one reason. I mean, if you want to, if you want to look for a reason. And my reason, yeah, my reason. Okay. Make a nature check. But also, like, given that we're all basically like just, just roll, and when we can't go to like yeah. hardcore areas, yeah. yeah. Six. Six. What's he doing? Six. Two <laughs> plus four. What was that for? What's that for? Phoebe's <laughs> looking for berries. Oh. Uh, Phoebe, she did not find shit. <laughs> what Phoebe found was a handful of dried grass. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Is this <laughs> grass? <laughs> Kindling. Phoebe, Kindling. Come on, you gotta do better than that. Yeah. Is it sunlight? Is it daylight? Is the it's sun like, coming down soon? It's like early morning. Early morning. Oh yeah, okay. let's get moving. Yeah. We got a whole day. Let's just proceed down the path to go. Who has the highest, like, investigation, I guess it would be? Or like nature, so we can yeah. look around again. That's to you. <laughs> yeah, well, that worked out. Well, yeah, you didn't find 16. berries, but should we have some investigative just check, check to see what's around us again? Sure. Which one do As I roll? Walk the the, the twenty side of the needle. Twenty? Yep. Okay. The easiest thing to do point. is leave that one kind of to the side. Because that's the one you're going to use the most. No, I've ruined us for my good rolls. I got twenties in a row. Two! Ooh. Yeah! Two. Wow. Seven. Instead of finding anything, you fall on your face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, you find just more kind of dead, dried out grass. There's Redo. not a whole lot going on. Redo? What's that, Joel? Joel, you already checked. I checked with Monty. Oh. Yeah, but I'm. But well, we're now further down the path. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How often you guys can you do perception you checks? Uh, you can do them pretty much as often as you want, but the right. general rule of thumb is like if you're looking for the same thing, the difficulty of the check is increasing because oh, you're just trying yeah, yeah. again and again. Right. And so again I looked to the again. left that time. Can I look to the right? <laughs> 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 Not all around. I didn't specify, <laughs> but I was just looking one direction. Three. Oh god, this is are going so great. Bad. All right, should we turn the back? Sun's in, <laughs> the sun's in Milo's eyes. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> the oh, no. The it's no. happening again. <laughs> I can't seem to see what's going on. Oh my god! Or behind the back. Goodness gracious! Classic. All right. Well, let's just keep going. Enough yeah, of this. Let's just uh, keep moving. Nowhere to go but up. I think we just hike till nighttime and we set up camp. Sounds good. Okay. What's nighttime? Are we in the mountains now? We're still in the flatlands. Yeah, you guys are. There's like the mountainous, like the mountain range, and then to the south is a road that goes around it. Oh. Okay. That's the safest road. That's the road your so if your we parents, walked. if you've got them, would have recommended it to you. Yeah. Can we do the bad one though? Let's go to the mountain. We're already on the road. We're on the road. We're not we going to go, go back. back. Can't go can back. Can I leave them? No. <laughs> You're part of the group. You gotta stay with us. <laughs> I wanna go fight some people. Just. No. So no, if, we, if we've really walked don't. all day and are right. setting up camp, is yeah. it still kind of the same surroundings, just kind of barren um, landscape? The, or? the further away from Ambercrag you get, the more green, uh, the more trees start to show up again. It looks okay. as though the area around Ambercrag is largely dried up, kind of devoid of water. Um, there is a river that, that does run past Ambercrag, but anywhere beyond that is pretty much dried up shrubland. It doesn't get a lot of rain. Where are we making so, camp? Yeah. Camp right next to the right off the road next yeah. to the river. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Crash is gonna be happy. Yeah. Yeah, CJ <laughs> is a crazy, is, is a crazy kid, but uh you're kind of the new kid. Do you wanna tell us anything? Like me? Yeah. No. Why are, just you, not gonna talk. why are you traveling with She already us? wanted to dip out and go to the mountains. <laughs> That's why I'm like, why are you here then if you're gonna run away from us? Who are you? I'm learning about Pokemon. From Phoebe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also can't find berries very well. <laughs> it's my, well I'm Job. helping you guys go on adventures. You guys seem to be city folk and you don't know what you're doing. That's true. So I'm a little uh, concerned for you. I also don't care. Because I'm 
Alright, now I'm gonna leave from? after that exchange. <laughs> okay, you wanna go find Will? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you, you wanna have Koa help you, yeah. he has advantage on perception checks relying on scent. Okay. Ooh. So he can help you kind of smell out where some trees might Do be. Do I roll just once though? You roll twice. Twice? Tell me the higher number. Okay. Eight. Woo! Eight. Eight, seven. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it was a seven. Oh. <laughs> what is it? We're not, well. Well. Okay, We're not doing well. We're not doing well. Koa finds you a couple more small sticks. Oh, God. Um, if if Tegan wants to also look, I will, I'll allow Tegan to also look. Yeah, see, I ruined it. Because you two can kind of split up. At least Koa's going to be sixteen. Chug two. Forsaken cities. Alright, I need to make every time. Okay. Um, Bye. You come back with a, a handful of some more dried Even grass. Um, so you've got the beginnings of a campfire, um, but you you'd be a little bit worried that it might just spread to all the other dried grass. Now let's not start a forest fire. First. Scary. Let's take some bad. CJ's rocks out of his backpack, make a little circle. Yes. <laughs> He's like, those are my rocks. <laughs> 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 those are mine. There's better use of them. Uh, Crash, Crash is gonna go jump in that river. Okay. Do you join him? I'm gonna go stand and watch. I'm not gonna get in the river. Okay. As uh, as Crash begins crashing and splashing and stopping through the river, and you just sort of stand there watching, um, make a perception check. We're Nine. rolling great okay. today, guys. Uh, you do notice some dark shapes in the water. Oh. Goldie. Relatively <laughs> nearby to <laughs> Crash. Okay. Uh. Dumpster's hanging out by the at the edge of the river. He's like sniffing around. Okay. I'm kind of watching what CJ and Crash are doing. And I'm drawing to your stir. You're drawing Dumpster in your book. Well, yeah. without a doubt, Crash is going to try and go after those things. Okay. Find out what they are. Have have Crash roll an attack. Okay. Ooh. Um, he's going to do bite. Okay. It's just going to end up being like algae or something. It'd be pretty funny. Four plus, plus three. So seven plus oh, three. Mama. As Crash less than subtly makes his way over to the shapes, <laughs> stomping and kind of tripping over himself with excitement, uh, you see three distinct uh, small kind of like little little fishy shapes. And they all just sort of dart off up the river as Crash sort of stomps after them for, for about 30 feet and then loses hope as he realizes they're way faster than, than he's going to be. Alright, we're going to scare away them. Fish. That was that. Nice. We probably should have fished instead of just head crash and go after that stuff. I thought it was a good idea. I, I stand behind it. I thought he was gonna lay waste. That's fine. Yeah. We just get it on the side. Set up tents and sweep <clears throat> it off and go to day two. Yeah. I don't know if there's much more we can do. Because now it's dark. Is it dark? Yeah, do you wanna, it's dark outside it is, now? It is dark. Do you yeah. wanna maybe send Monty up again? Are there any noises besides the river? Is it just the river? Okay. What do you better than berries! If there's more than no noises than the river. 20. Oh, 20. 20! 20. 20. Let's go, Let's Natural go. 20. Let's go, Tia. Okay. As everybody is sort of setting up their tents, and they're all distracted by their own various things, and you're doodling Nubster, uh, you hear the very distinct sound of a small creature hopping through grass. You can hear, like, crunch, 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 crunch. And it sounds like it's getting closer. Okay. Um, but it, it, you can almost tell that it's being very cautious. Um, as you move towards the sound, you see two tiny little, like little brown bumps sticking out from above some tall grass, and a, and a third larger, kind of like bushy tail. Mm -hmm. And as you see it, it you watch it kind of go and get very tense. Oh, I'll catch it, Tia! Catch it! Can I, I use my my Pokemon hand to get him to like relax? Offer some berries. Uh, so he's not so sure. <laughs> tense, or should I get dumpster over what are here? Saying those are like no, do that. Do the first thing. Some dried grass. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Offer dry grass. On one of the sticks. Do you want some yeah, dry one grass? Of the sticks. <laughs> or a stick? stick? <laughs> You'll love it. What do you have? Pokemon handling. Yeah. Okay. Good choice. It looks about one. Yeah. For real. Here comes the boom. Oh, 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay. Plus five. Plus five. That's big. As you kind of hold your hand out, are you offering anything, or are you just trying to calm him down? Um, I mean, I've got some dark grass. <laughs> Can I show my chef's head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, because then you would eat them. <laughs> as you hold your chef's head out, uh, you see this very rotund, squirrel-looking creature sort of yes. waddle up to you and reach out to, to grab the chef's hat from you. Do you allow this? Yes. It's going to be cute. Okay. So it, cute. it grabs it and sticks it on its little head. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and it kind of bobs its head back and forth and the little chef's hat wiggles. <laughs> this is amazing. It jumps up on its on, on the on the back of its tail, so it's kind of standing not quite to your height. Um, it's probably up to about your, about your stomach. Okay. And it looks up and it, it offers its hand up to you. Do we, do we shake? <laughs> he kind of like <laughs> high fives you. Alright. And he gets back down onto his feet and he, he takes the hat off and he books it. What? You got your hat. <laughs> Catch a Alright, I'm sending Nubster after him. Okay. Come on, Nubster. The center, it's like, deal. We didn't trade. <laughs> <laughs> Give me nothing. Thanks. So wait, did he take the hat? He took the hat? He took the hat. Absolutely. He took okay. the hat. He took the hat. So I'm pursuing my <laughs> Nubster. I give you a high five, and that's their trade. I'm, I'm pursuing him with Nubster. So okay. I'm going to use Aisha. I don't know what I have, though. It's blank. Okay. It's just a D6. Yeah. One oh. D6. A one plus one. One, two. Two, two damage. damage. Come on. Still, still standing, but as the little shard of ice just phew, wings off into the bushes, um, it's slicing down many of the dried grasses in the way. You you hear a little, <laughs> <laughs> and it seems to be moving substantially slower <laughs> as it's wait. limping through the grasses. Oh my! Go get him, monster! Go get him! <laughs> so confusing. So. I've now heard this commotion. Can I like run over to help Tia now, or at least see what's going on? Sure, right, I'm gonna do that. Okay. As you run over, you see a uh, Nubster sort of hair bristled and up, and he's all in a tizzy. Oh well. And you see okay. Phoebe stood there holding a notebook, <laughs> just looking. He's got my hat. <laughs> okay. Got to get the hat back. Uh, can I? see and attack the centret with mortar now? Um, you would have a heck of a time catching up to it. Even okay. in its now wounded state, it's still pretty far away. Well, I'm gonna go in hot pursuit along with Nubster. I'll throw out mortar with Nubster, and they're now teaming up. Alrighty. The little Magby sort of hits the ground. It's slightly larger arms. <laughs> impacts into the dirt. This, you, this is a very unfair court now. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have stole that hat. Alrighty, as Just you don't burn it. <laughs> as the two of you give chase. Are the are the the people following as well, or is it just yeah. mortar and uh, we're trying to keep I up. I mean we're trying to keep up. Because you are substantially quicker. faster than Nubster. Oh I am? <laughs> Nubster only moves about twenty feet. <laughs> okay, Which so is still I'm good, but serious. he's Mortar, however, is able to move substantially quicker by just slamming into the ground and hopping. Can you lay down some ice, Nubster, and just start sliding? I'll say sure. Okay. So you can go a little bit faster. Yeah, so he can go a little faster. We're still yeah. faster, but... <laughs> yeah, but just so he can... He's, I'll say he's moving at a, a brisk 25 feet per round. Okay. Uh, which, at the moment, is faster than the Sentry. Oh. He's wounded. I'll say after... Probably about 30 seconds. I'll say Mortar catches up to this uh, oh, little right. Alright, yeah. right. um, You can see he's got a big, like, kind of frozen over gash in the back. Oh. And he's sort of oh, wincing, feeling. trying to hop close. He gives me my hat back. <laughs> oh my goodness, ruthless. <laughs> so Mortar is now close enough to attack? Mortar is now close enough to attack. Can I mock punch it? You can't. <laughs> You're gonna kill it. <laughs> Well, she wants the hat back. So roll you your hat. Roll your Is it funny. worth it? Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna see if you hit. Right. Fourteen. Fourteen hits. <laughs> yeah, Go ahead and roll your damage. Oh wow! Four, Four. plus three is seven. Okay. He's dead. As He's mortar dead. arrives, you see this massive arm just <clears throat> lean up. Bam! And Sentret's knocked like three feet in the air. Uh-oh. As you guys are catching up, you see this thing. Can I catch it? Oh, no. okay. Just into the ground. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> and 
just didn't, didn't mean to kill it. Eyes crossed, just uh, <laughs> just out cold completely. Ugh. Massive bruise under the chin. <laughs> you can see uh, two two of the three little claws on Mortar's arms left very nice indents right under his Ooh. chin. Uh, the hat is nowhere to be seen. <sighs> what? We did this all for the hat, now I just feel bad. <laughs> you just killed the sentry for no reason. Yeah, that's... Where'd the hat go? Well, Phoebe, on your way carrying. catching up, you can roll a perception check if you want to see if you can see where the hat ended up. Also catching the chef hat? Yeah, I'm gonna try and catch it. This adventure's for the chef Find out its motive of that's having a terrible happen. trade. Two. Two. Uh, <laughs> My you, hat's gone. You did not see your hat anywhere. <laughs> My hat's yeah. gone. Uh, but yeah, if you want to try to catch the Sentret, you have the option. Can All I right. catch up and look for the hat while she tries to catch Sentret? You may. Okay. What do I roll for the... So what you're going to you're gonna take two very odd-looking dice. They're the ten-siders. One of them's going to have two digits. One of them's going to have one. These two? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's an eight-sider. The other one. You need both. Yep, they're the same shape. Cool. Mm-hmm. Look like this. You roll both of those. Okay. Which am I rolling if for the roll hat? If you roll on that dice, a 1 to a 30. I did, but I mean like the... A 1 to a 30? Yes. If you roll a 31 to a 100. Like, like this, is like 30, 20, 50. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So 1 to or 30 I failed. Fail. 1 to 30 and you failed. Fail. 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 Because it has a 70% chance to work. Okay. So any number from 31 to 100 will work. Alright, come on. Here's our first catch chance. 35. 35. Just by the skin of your teeth. Just barely. You're sort of nervous and a little angry that your hat's gone. Yeah! And you throw the Pokeball out, and this unconscious Sentra just... just goes into the ball. There's no contest. It doesn't wiggle. It just... <laughs> oh, it's it. dead! And you have captured a Sentra. What? You, you killed it. it! I didn't kill it. It's fine. It's okay. She has it. Shouldn't have stole the hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Also, I rolled a perception it. check. Yes. And I rolled a 19. 19? Uh, the hat is about 20 feet away from the Sentret, just in the ground. Woo! Um, You're welcome. Little bit, you. Little bit icy from the impact. You gather that probably when he got hit, he sort of threw the hat. Really hoping I would fail. So, Tia, real quick, I need you to roll this dice, the d4. And let me know if you get an even or an odd result. Probably. Even. Even. Okay. Your Sentra, keep that, whatever keep that secret. <laughs> yep, whatever whatever name you go with for your Sentra, his uh-huh. ability is picked. As he emerges and he just sort of looks around confused. Can what's going on? Can Mortar apologize to him for punching him in the chin? Does Mortar want to? Does Mortar want to? Yes. <laughs> Does he though? Interesting. Yeah, he's on the team now. What am I just gonna have that weird just that animal. awkward so relationship. Just like, I'll oh, come and like punch him in the arm and say, "We good, right? Yeah, good? yeah, he basically." Goes yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing. Sorry, <laughs> I because I don't, I just don't want him to hate mortar the rest of the time. It's fine. But, right, I mean, he might anyway, but it's worth. He's a little upset. Uh, <laughs> 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 they just like make sounds. He's very specific ones can speak. Okay. Like, like, said, like in said in general, words. no. Okay. So, right. okay, so like general rule like of thumb, Pikachu it's, it's unusual. Yeah, okay. it is unusual to hear them speak. All right, so Nubster is hanging out with him. Okay, as Nubster, are we back at the of, camp now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> you now see, you now see a very rotund little squirrel, just sort of sitting. <laughs> Did you give him back the chef's hat or no? Yeah, I'm letting him, but okay. I'm telling he's... him the reason we chased him down <laughs> is because he stole my hat. Okay. What stops him from leaving now? Um. If he has a hat now, what stops him from leaving? He can't. Uh, technically, Tia. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Technically, it belongs I mean, to. It's still Pokemon trying. is a fucked up world. It's a it's a very <laughs> dubious moral choice. He's not my yeah. slave. <laughs> Pretty much. He don't did. don't think too hard about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of upsetting if you think too hard. Yeah. Okay. So you now see a very rotund squirrel wearing a chef's hat. Cute. George, did you name him? Can I hug him? Um, I'm gonna hug him. What's his, his name? Is it a, is a boy or yeah. a girl? Is it is a he. Oh, it is he. Change the name. All right. What's the name? She's gonna think, think about, about it. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. Right. We'll we'll come back we'll come back to it. We have time. Yeah. We. Sleep time. Tia or Phoebe and I update them on on everything that happened. Yeah. The hat stealing and more than being a beast. 
<clears throat> way too overpowered for Sentra. <laughs> while you're while you're uh, sort of regaling everyone with the tail, CJ, are you still by the river? Yeah, dude. Me and Crash are wrestling now. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception <laughs> check while you're wrestling. Me? Yes. Okay. Nineteen. Woo! Uh, you hear some rustling in the grass, and as you turn around, you see a very rotund squirrel <laughs> <laughs> with a chef's head reaching into your bag, holding a rock. <laughs> Get out of here, bro! <laughs> Those are my rocks! You little shit! <laughs> I'm gonna right, run over, over I'm gonna run over, over and try and tackle it. I mean, I'm, I'm running like, over, and Nubster squirrel's behind, and I'm trying to explain to him that he can't just <laughs> take people. Things. Okay. Come on, he he is, just can he's hearing can Phoebe talking, things. but he's terrified yeah, of you, and he's like trying to stuff. stay and listen, but he also wants to run. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, you I definitely don't care if he steals other people's stuff, but if you see, I stop stuff. right before because I see Phoebe talking to him. <laughs> okay. He sort of like nervously puts the rock down. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Why would you take a rock? What's with these rocks? He just likes to he didn't up. understand. He's just inquisitive. She <laughs> likes to take things out of people's bags. <laughs> My gosh, that's not cool, but whatever. It's fine. You stop him. Alrighty. Uh, does, it, does anybody else want to do anything before heading in for for the first night on the road? I'm okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. I think I'm yeah. I'm Long day. Alright. Is anybody keeping watch? I'm gonna I will. I'll be out by the fire reading my journal. Okay. I'll take the, the early morning shift. Chill. Same thing. On your evening watch. Go ahead and roll an intelligence check. Is that a 20? That is a 20. Mm -hmm. 15. 15. Okay. As you're thumbing through your journal. Okay. You decipher the name Fola. P-H-O-L-A. Hold on, start over. P-H-O-L-A. Fola. That's sort of in the... Probably three, four hours that you're on watch. That's sort of what you're able to discern from just a page of just runic symbols with lines through them in different colored inks, and you're finally able to crack a little bit of the cipher. Um, but otherwise, your your watch passes uneventfully as you sort of walk over and kick Milo, and say, "Hey, it's your turn," and tuck in for bed. Milo and Monty. So we're up, and we're gonna do what we always do and do some training. Uh, but yeah, we're just we're running some drills and keeping an eye out while we wait for the rest of the crew to wake up. Okay. As morning rises... Day two. You all come to consciousness in your respective tents. Except for Tegan, yeah, who so sleep. sleeps in. <laughs> <laughs> she getting out cold so with out. Koa just sprawled well, out Koa's in the tent. Koa's out doing his thing. Koa and the Sentret. <laughs> They're best friends. Yeah. Yeah. Swifty <laughs> and Koa. As day two dawns, what would you like to do? Um, let's do another like spot check round for food, and then we'll wake up Tegan and keep walking. Sounds good. Cook some breakfast. You can bring coffee. Yeah, for real. Good. Cheap. <laughs> oh, well. How do you know oh, that? We have season? dried grass. <laughs> Let's sure. make some tea! Sure. Just boil Just dried like, grass. I'm gonna have Koa go look for food because he's got a keen little okay. eye and nose. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Come on, day two, be better. Be better! Be better! Alright, so you guys watch as Koa just sort of pokes his head out of the tent. Looks like he's smelling something and just sort of scampers off to the west. He's gone for like 15 minutes. Uh -oh. And you're like, this can't be good. Should we wake to you? <laughs> and you hear the sound of something being dragged through the brushes. Oh. Because I'm okay, it's another chef hat. <laughs> <laughs> With rocks in it. <laughs> Koa is dragging what can only be described as a mutilated fish carcass. Oh, Whoa. Dang. It's well, about the size of him. Nice. It's impressive for him to be dragging it. He's a big swung, fish. man. Uh, Did he mutilate the fish carcass? Probably. It's hard to, hard we got to bagels? Do. We could do locks on a bagel. <laughs> but he's brought just a Schmier? massive fish. <laughs> Tia, what's, your, what's your opinion on that? <laughs> what? Did, do you think Koa did that to the fish? I'll, I'll go do a, what, would it be intelligence? It would be an or perception? Check. Insight. Insight. He's a jail soul. Remember, he's a killer of cuteness. 
so it would be a wisdom. That's why I don't think he is a killer of cuteness. That fish was not cute. Oh, That's well, insane. what's your answer? Four. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is a one. A I'm groggy, one. rubbing my it's eyes. It's really hard to tell. Um, you haven't been around Koa long enough to mm. decipher kind of how he would right. kill if he were All to. Right. Okay. Tegan's awake. She gonna go look. <laughs> she gonna figure it out, y'all. Oh, Maybe not. What's your insight? Plus four. Plus four, 19. Okay, 17. 17. Uh, 17. Uh, Math. Yeah, so Cohen definitely didn't take this thing down, but as <clears> far <throat> as where he got it from, you have no idea. All right, okay. Uh, let's move. Questionable, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sketch if there's just a mutilated fish carcass that he himself didn't <laughs> kill. Bigger. Well, I mean, because in my eyes, it either just killed it for fun and didn't eat it, or killed enough of them that it didn't need to eat that one. Is it edible? That's a lot. Yeah. All right, so can Do I we want to investigate cut it that up and pack or it up? just move along? Nope. <laughs> I kind of want to investigate. I'm curious. I don't. You wanna, I you can wanna stay by camp if you guys I want to cut go. it up and Watch it just be crash okay. sleepwalking. Um, <laughs> make a survival check. <laughs> which, which one is that? This should be... Uh, it should 20? be 20. Okay. Plus two. Plus two. Not happening. Nine. Nine? Nine? Okay. Uh, you're able to get about six pounds of fish. Oh, that's pretty good. Thing. It's a big carcass. Yeah. Like, it's okay. an impressively what large Pokemon fish is? for... What Pokemon is this? Just questions. Are you guys investigating this? The area? I'm I think you should tent. put Monty yeah. out there. I mean, if, there. if you guys are not on board with figuring out what this is, I'm not going to go it alone. That seems like a bad idea. I'll go with you. I would go in a group or not. I'm down to go. I'm down to go. I don't want to go. What are we doing? Seeing what killed yeah, this fish? Yeah, what, investigating what killed, killed this fish. Because it wasn't Koa. He I only have two it. healing berries, guys. All right. Um, All right, so we're packing up. Yeah, let's we're up let's then. move along. All right, we're hopefully it doesn't in. hopefully it doesn't follow us. I mean, it probably will. Can I, and then can I have Koa later, like go and better. like stay behind us while you all leave? Because I don't really, I'm not, I don't trust him with this. Go ahead and make a perception check as the one who is yes. cutting yes. and packing the fish away. Uh, <laughs> not good. It's five. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. If it's plus yeah, two, yeah. yeah. Math. Okay. Um, you hear death. <laughs> the very subtle flapping of wings. Yeah. But you're not able to see anything. All right, one of you, come on, help us out. Send Monty up. Yes, Monty. Monty Into the fire. <laughs> CJ's worthless because he doesn't trust any of us. He's not gonna do anything, are you? I want to find out what it is. Okay, then you do something. Throwing rocks. It's a yawn. Right? I tell him about the the sound, and I say okay. I can't see it. Sure. It's in the trees. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you also hear very subtle. Just, you're not able to figure out which direction it's coming from, but it's <clears throat> just faint and it's does barely it, reaching your ears. Does it sound like it's getting louder or fading? It sounds like it's staying where it is. Uh, okay. Climb some trees, go. Ahead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm gonna climb a tree. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an fairies. athletics or an acrobatics check, whichever one is better for you. Acrobatics. Five. <laughs> Five. All right. Fell off that tree. It, it takes you a good long while to get rolling. onto the first branch. No, we're really not. The tree, and as you kind of hoist yourself up, you're more winded than you want to let on, and you go, this is good. I'll just watch from here, guys. Uh, go ahead and make your perception check. Something better. From the tree branch. 20. Unnatural. Okay. Um, as you're standing in the tree, you see the brown ruffled feathers of a massive bird in the tree probably about 200 feet from you oh. but just barely like cresting over a, a distant tree you just see like <laughs> you said massive bird. oh no. he's a he's a fat fat one okay. it's the morning or fero yeah that's true Either way, I don't think we want to mess with that thing. I yeah, do. let's stick with my original. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I don't Show like off. it, though. <laughs> well, nothing to do with that. Why yeah, is let's... He, I... Why is he around us, though? Huh? 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 Why is he around us? This, he this is not allowed to live. Area. Yeah. Just eating fish. It's not our woods. Mm. All right. Why so should we just continue just towards the town? For sure. Yeah. All right. 
let's move it right along. I don't think that you have at any point. You're, you're an enigma. I am. It's very difficult to, I am. to figure out. We're walking. We're walking, We're walking more towards the town. This one? We're going journey walking. number two. Walking. 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 So, what are our surroundings now? Is it like more lush Grassland. forest? Or? Yeah, you're getting into more lush forest. Into uh, the if you stay closer to the river, it's going to be a lot more green. Um, if you stay closer to the road, it's a little bit of a mixture. How far are they from each other? Probably about 100 feet. Can I do a perception check of the river? Sure. Are you looking for anything in particular, or are you just gonna... Um, it's a fish! What do you need? <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking for food. Um, I just want to see, like, the, the general direction that it's going, and, like, if there are any Pokemon <laughs> inside the river or around the river, or any, like, people around the river. Okay. Like, maybe a just so rogue a fisherman. Just so a general perception check. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, the river is flowing south, following along with the road. As far as people near the river, you do see very, very faint, probably about a mile away from you, what looks to be a campsite. Um, closer to the river than the road. We're gonna get up there and it's like, no, it's just sticks. And it's our old campsite. And grass. I know, we made a big complete <laughs> circle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, should we continue straight on to see what the campsite is? Well, is it on the way to the next town, or is it behind us? It is loosely on the way. You're, you're heading in the same direction you would pass it, but you're, you're reaching a point where the river kind of veers away from the road a little. I'll go to the river with you. Well, I kind of wanted to just see if we can like scavenge supplies yeah, or something, if there's something of use there that could be helpful. I know? agree. All right, so have we walked to the what I thought was a campsite yet? Sure. Okay. I can jump you ahead. Okay. Um, as you walk by, uh, you see a small tent. It looks to be a little cook pot over a, a small campfire that's long burned out. Um, it's just ashes and a couple embers. Um, you see a fishing rod kind of jammed into the sand. Um, and you can hear the sound of somebody snoring from it. Nice. Oh. We just go to town, just move along towards the town. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I am curious who else is adventuring, but. If they're sleeping. Maybe we'll see <laughs> said person down the line. Who knows? Probably after. Is there anything like distinctive about the tent? Like markings? No, it's just oh, a very okay. basic kind of canvas tent. Pretty similar to what you guys would have. Alright. Lead the way to town, Milo. Alright. Or Monty. Whomever. Yeah. We're, um, can we, is the town in view now? No. We're a long ways away, he said. You're a, you're a couple thought, days travel away. Oh, I thought we were in town. should totally that's why see I how said, old this guy is then. That's why I said we need to stop, because we got yeah. days to go, guys. Yeah. Get some supplies. Yeah, you want to peek in his tent? I'm curious. I'm curious. All right. I mean, it sounds like something CJ do. Do what's do. fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Is it though? He just we don't know anything sense. about him. <laughs> We don't know anything about him. Is it something he would do? I, don't know. I mean, he's a weird little boy. He's a wild card, and he's he's just doesn't talk. I mean, Phoebe has taken a fang out of his arm, so it doesn't really seem out of the realm of possibility. If there's nothing else around his camp area that suggests that he's somebody, just a fishing rod, just a guy, yeah. just a fishing rod. Right. Are you going in the tent? Nah. You what are you doing? Are you just gonna open it and see? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a man! That's a bear! That's a pig man! Yeah, I'm gonna open the flap of the tent. You open the as flap quietly of the tent. as possible. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Be discreet! You have good stealth, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh, sick. Nine plus four. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Come on. That's not gonna be good enough. Yeah, you'll be fine. There's a smirk on that. Come on! Similar. If he wasn't a disadvantage, <laughs> uh, you are able to sort of peer into the tent. You see an enormous mound of sleeping bag just passed out. And the snoring gets a little bit louder as you kind of open the flap. Um, you don't see any Pokemon around inside the tent, no sign of them. Uh, just this sort of bulbous shape sleeping on the ground. <laughs> 
Um, Are you gonna poke the stick? I kind of <laughs> want to. <laughs> no, don't poke the bear. At that point, just wake him up. I gotta poke the stick. Okay, are you gonna up. wake him up? Just be like, Psst. But why would I wake him up? Good yeah. morning. What? How did I, <laughs> how did I Good get morning, here? Good morning, beautiful. Wake up. <laughs> I'm kind of having second thoughts about this now. Let's just yeah. dip. Let's keep moving towards the town. I was just curious what was in the tent. No, I agree. Yeah, I'm glad you did that. Nothing in the tent? All right. Now we at that. least know uh, it's a Not massive... from how little he's opened the flaps. Up. Okay, okay. Can I open it then? Weird. Well, come up and push me out of the way? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. god. Are you doing it stealthily or are you just ripping the flap open? <laughs> I guess I should probably do it stealthily. Somebody else gotta do stealth. At least we got that. Whatever. What's happened? 14. 14. Do you have any bonus? That's with oh, bonus. It's fine. The sleeping man is at disadvantage. He is still sleeping. Uh, what did we learn? Nothing. As you open the tent flap a little bit more, you can see the, the sunlight is like inches from his eyes. Uh, um, you see an enormous, full, bushy beard. It's a pretty pretty hefty individual. Okay. Massive beard. They've got kind of a, a ball cap sort of tucked down below, over their eyes to sort of help them sleep. Um, the sleeping mask. <laughs> it's basically, it's basically just a ball cap kind of to there. Um, you do see a small backpack in the corner. Mm. Still no Pokemon. Still no Pokemon. Mm. But there's Don't, a backpack. Don't I know what's what you're thinking? Backpack? But there's a backpack. What's in there? What's a backpack? Like what? Is it's backpack. Nothing there. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's a in there. Small, Send dark your blue. Send your or whatever. No. It's in there. No. Um, I want to steal some new tricks. There's like a small keychain on it. Of Let's like not make boulder. enemies. Of a what? A little, boulder. a little boulder with like two fists. Oh, <gasps> Junior. It's a little Geodude Geo keychain on, on his backpack. What is that? Oh, on his dark blue backpack. He's definitely a hiker. Way to go, Phoebe. <laughs> He's not a tiger, though. Woo! <laughs> so I want it now. Give it to me. You can't take it. I want to take his Pokemon. I want it. No, I don't want it. No. Alright, the team wants like to move Pokemon. on. Let's move on. Alright. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a Jeez, stealth check ruthless. as you're walking away. <laughs> stealth? Ooh. I'm uh, all about adventure, guys! Hey, oh, we gotta make stealth oh, checks. Adventure and crime! What away. have you done? What are you doing? They have to make stealth checks when Jesus. they move. Oh, Mine's we're... nine. He's getting caught. And I'm worse. Oh! oh! No! 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 Take and roll the two. two! That was a natural. That was a natural one? That was a natural one. That's not he's, good. He's Adventure, not guys! He's come not on! A Phoebe's As you guys it, turn though. to leave, <laughs> you kind of just let down. the flap fall, and it just goes. And the guy goes. Ugh. Who's out there? Who is that? Run. What are you doing? Run. Who has the Run. most charisma? Not me. <laughs> None of us. <laughs> None of us. <laughs> ben does. You have the persuasiveness. You and yeah, no, you. No, no. We were, no. We were just seeing if he was okay because it sounded yeah, like just be dying. like, hey, your snort sounded like sleep apnea. We need to make sure you're okay. Oh god, we're we just run. Can we just run? Just run. We're running. We're running. Just run. We're running. Okay, okay. We're running. You don't have to. You don't have to roll a run. Oh, you right. just run. Okay, okay. So everybody, run away. Yeah, run we're away. All right. <laughs> Good god. As you guys are running away. He could have been nice. This. This They're large man into the sort dude's of tent while he sleeps. <laughs> gets out of the tent, kind of rubbing his eyes, puts the ball cap up, and just goes, "Who's there? Who was that?" And you guys are just <laughs> run, just go, don't turn around, just go. What did we learn? Nothing. Of course Zero. not. Zero. He likes Geodude Pokemon. That's what we learned. Yeah. yeah. He Does backpack. he chase us? Does he spot us? Uh, yeah. He did not spot you. He rolled, okay. a, rolled a two to see you. Okay. Woo! He did not. Got away. Got you just you woke him up. <laughs> we woke did. this man up. He's but a everyone... giant man with a beard who likes Geodude Pokemon. Like a five it's children like a alarm cap. system. That's what we learned. Time to wake we'll probably up. run into him in town. Probably. Oh yeah, for sure. And then we'll have to play it cool, but we won't because we're us. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the only one with this. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is like. We definitely not didn't at look speaking. in your tent. Yeah. We're all really bad at yeah. speaking, so. Every single one of us doing like really awkward like poses on the wall, like trying to blend in. <laughs> yeah, cool. What do I do with my hands? Well, he didn't see us, so he doesn't know what we look like. So. True. true. We'll just, just hear idea. someone venting about it. Someone woke me up. Yeah. All right. So how much closer to the? Town are we now that we sprinted away from this game? <laughs> it depends how long you sprinted for. Well, CJ was winded already. That was just because of the tree. The tree oh. was hard to climb. Oh. Say we ran for three hours. Full bore for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna say five minutes. <laughs> for three hours. All right, you're in the town.
town over from that town. <laughs> <laughs> you ran through. I would say probably um, ten minutes, yeah. Okay, so you guys are probably, we'll be generous you and say you're about, about a mile minutes? and a half closer. Okay. I mean, you got little legs. Let's say Bentley can. Okay. I'm sure so can. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take a quick rest. Yeah? We're all a little winded. Yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> we can all want some pepper jerky. Get some jerky and some water out. Well, let's eat the fish. Yeah. Let's get the fish. Oh, yeah, let's get the okay. fish going. The fish should we roll Someone a perception else should find check, too? Firewood, too. Yeah, we should just see what's around us first. Okay. Go, Monty. No, Monty. What is Seven. that? Oh. Nice. Oh, God. Alright, as Monty sort of flies up, there's a big lazy circle around you. Uh, you hear him a couple times go, but nothing major. He doesn't hover over anything, he just sort of chirping, making some noise up there. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, so we're gonna cook some fish? You want fish? Yeah. Yeah. So we need wood? Fish. fish. So we're gonna find some wood? Okay. No. You and, you and Koa going for yeah. it? Yeah. No. No, you're not. No, not. Remember, Koa has advantage. There's, that was a five. Right? So, no. so roll, roll again. again. Roll again. Is it, three? Is it a perception? Yeah, yeah but Koa, it's for Koa. But oh. Koa doesn't have the bonuses. Other than getting to roll twice. Eight. 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 It's better. Okay. Uh, Koa does bring you just one, but a like, decent sized log. It just happens to have like kind of a, an offshoot from it that he's able to drag it. Hmm. Uh, but he brings you... To, it's a decent log. It's a good start. I saw some dry grass. Dry grass and some of those sticks. Let's get yeah. it going. Mortar can set the fire. Yeah. All right. In now theory. Right. And then if I have to roll for your that. chef <laughs> squirrel cooks up some fish. Yeah. I'm showing him how to cook. Yeah, you got to take him. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. We're over at the campfire. Okay. Nice. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, he's so cute. Nubster's hanging out now with Crash, or he's trying to. Nubster's? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. You should name the center it Boy R D. Crash, <laughs> Crash is Crash is interested as to why Nubster why wants to wants to be seen. Nubster's right. just just curious. <laughs> just curious. Yeah. Okay. He likes Boy to go Pokemon. Nubster Crash is Roy. The good part of Nubster's Pokemon? nose is yeah. kind of flaring up as he's trying to smell Crash. Crash looks visibly uncomfortable. Yeah, he's he's a little weary, but he's okay. He's, he's okay with it for now. He, he's keeping his distance. Okay. okay. So he's aware. Crash's children. He's reading the book. You should have page. you should have Sentra plate some fish and have Nubster like waddle it over the okay. oh, Like so a waiter. We'll do that. Yeah. So he's gonna open a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a bow tie. She has ten waiters. Dry grass. Already. Yeah. Can I <laughs> roll a perception a check to see <clears throat> if there's anybody like stalking our little lunch gathering? Sure. Okay. That would be By perception. Way. That would be. Thirteen. Thirteen? Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, you are able to just barely see two little little black antennas just sort of sticking up. Just just out of sight of the game. Offer some food. Are you doing anything with it? I mean, we could offer some food. <laughs> Some are six pounds of fish. I need at least five pounds. I, mean, I don't know if it would eat fish. It sounds like I don't know how much fish you guys can eat, but. She should garf down. Give some grass to it. I don't need that much. I need some grass and sticks. Well, I mean, if you guys aren't going to do anything with it, I think this is the, the moment after everything that's happened. My adrenaline's still pretty high from running from the mountain, the mountaineer. Mm -hmm. You must not listen and, to uh, me. Huh? You're irritated because we didn't listen to you three times. And, You're like, uh, <coughs> also, does Monty need training that's like tangible? That's, Pokemon battle training. That's what I think. I'm ready to try it because what what Bentley has told me is it sounds like a bug, and I'm like, I can handle a bug. <laughs> Monty and I, I think we're ready for a bug. <laughs> All right, have at it. So I'm gonna go I'm it. gonna I look at Monty. Monty's like, we can do this, and he dives at the bug, or the antennas. Okay, go ahead and roll for initiative for Monty. Oh god. What oh, was a full on battle now? Seven. Seven. Monty's going first. Oh, wow. Sweet. Woo! That's nice. All right, so uh, he's gonna go for an Astonish, because okay. he's got the <clears throat> element of surprise right now. Okay, so you gotta Woo! roll a hit. Oh, sorry. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, oh man. 
swing and a miss. As Monty dives into the ground, going for the astonish. As it as he lands, he kind of ruffles his feathers and the grass sort of falls away. You do see now a ladybug in front of you. It's just two sticks. <laughs> <laughs> who is fully primed and ready, fists out, and just in comes the first is punch. That what this is? Uh -oh. So Joel, the first hit is for three damage. Okay. Oh, wow. Second one's a miss. Punch right in the beak. Third one is a hit for one damage. Fourth one is a natural one. The fifth one is a crit. That is six more points of damage. As this ladybug just sort of cocks back and goes for five yeah. wild punches, just not even really paying attention to you, just swinging wild. My confidence is crushed. Monty just has two black eyes. He comes back and like, never again. I was so nervous, and now any ounce of confidence I gained the last day is shattered. No, yeah, coming in. Uh, that's coming a, I'm gonna try. It's a minor setback. You can. We're gonna it. we're gonna go for a peck here. Okay. Woo! Come on, Monty. Oh, I gotta roll the hit, right? Yes. Twelve. Five plus two, so seven. Seven. Lady stands with one HP. Oh, you got this. You got uh -oh. this. You gotta weather the storm. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> What's Monty's health at? You got this. Six. You got this. Oh shit. He's <laughs> got okay. okay. Yeah, hope for a miss. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was terrifying. Oh boy. Okay, Lady Biz is gonna play the long game here. Lady Biz is going for focus energy. So it doesn't move, and you just watch this aura of power around this tiny ladybug. Okay. As it just pulses. Don't miss. All the grass around it just sort of falls it's flat like and withers. Super saiyan ladybug. Oh, it just, don't miss. You watch its antennas just vibrating, and it seems to be just like furious with you. I need Monty to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, God. As the 17. Nice. 17. Okay. So you take one half damage from this, which is three rounded down to one. Nice. So you take one point of psychic damage. All right. Oh boy. As this thing is a beast. As you're just <laughs> staring down this lady, but Monty's already kind of blurry-eyed from the flurry of punches, and now he's seeing double. And this thing's just it's like, oh god. <laughs> it's Monty's turn. All right, he's gonna go for. I just yell at him to peck again. Okay. Get it. Get him. Come on. 17. Yeah. Woo! 17 will hit. 19. Well, 19. 1 plus oh, 2. Oh, three. But it's skinny your teeth. You, you take down the lady, but. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's go As on. the beak impacts the chest, it sort of goes. And there's this this glimmer of of sadness in the lady eyes as it's Aww. just sort of blinking. And the aura is just slowly dissipating and shaking, and the grass starts to congeal around it, and the corpse just. Into the grass. The corpse. <laughs> well, it died. <laughs> it's dead. Uh, very much <laughs> just out. Are you gonna try to catch it? Yeah. All right, let's go for it. What I uh, do? Okay. These two. So take your your two d10s. Okay. Also known as a d100. Fire away. Let me know what you roll. A seventy-four. Got it. Seventy-four. Nailed it. Sweet. Uh, so is the lady ba a, a lady ba or a guy ba? The lady box. This is a good time Do I have any? I have that I have a sleeping bag, a week's worth of pepper jerk, a pot, and my glove, and now two Pokeballs. Do I have anything to heal at all? That I have any? Uh, you could try the pepper jerk. Ask Phoebe. No, I don't want to. Or you could ask Phoebe. Pokemon. Ask Phoebe. Do no, the don't powers. do it. Save your berries. If you don't want to, <laughs> this that's is fine. our team. This is what you were warning Phoebe. against the last time. Yeah, I'm saying, like, what if, what, if, what if we really need those later on for, like, Phoebe, there things. are ways to heal without don't the berries. berries. Right, oh. yes. Oh. Yeah, like, I want to do a... It's a medicine check. Medicine. Okay, yeah. okay. She's okay. Medicine. Nice. okay. Those things need to be saved, guys. I'm really good at medicine, She's too. only got I, three of this them. This fails. I, I want... I'm actually not bad at it. plus five. Okay. okay. Do this first, and then I, I kind of want them to be healed together. Hold well, on, what do you have for medicine? Like, oh, and, and Monty. Monty. Like, as oh, a, yeah, as a bonding, bonding experience. Is that a thing? Medicine. <laughs> no, for Dracula 1. Just, so uh, just roll once to see like if you can revive nervous. the lady. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Eight. Eight? Eight is enough. 
Wow. It's a three plus five. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you are able to resuscitate Ladybug. It is Woo! currently sitting at a healthy one HP. I'm excited. We're all Can really I good. roll a I'm medicine check for Ladybug. Monty? Yeah, we're all very uh, good at medicine. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna try to heal Monty. Yeah. yeah I have good I have good uh, medicine skills as well. Okay. okay. From all of my is yeah. Pokedex Ladybug. reading and sure. other shiz. Uh, ten. So how that works? Okay. That's just um, that. As you sort of walk up to Monty, he's got if you have to do a medicine check, two whatever you roll past pretty two. swollen right. eyes at this so point. They're like getting worse static. the longer he's there. He's um, you get a little bit of the river water and some of the dried right. grasses and you just kind of patch it up on one of his eyes. And it brings down the <clears> swelling <throat> a little bit. As you go for the second one, he kind of puts his beak in. Okay. Can I, so like, can I ask can Nubster for an ice shard? Like, are you smart or are you not smart? That's up to 15. Yeah. He's good. Cool. Are you kind of not, like, not an attack. Not, really. not an attack. Nubster, can you just like shoot it in the air and I'll catch like it? Like me? I'm not very smart. Or I can't centric catch it. I'm kind of dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to try anyway. Yeah. <laughs> why would that do you have to do anything for that? Okay. 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 She just fires it off. Yeah. All right. Okay. Centric sort of it's stares like longingly at this ice cube as it comes falling back down into Milo's hands. Okay. So I'm going to catch it. I'm going to hang on to it and just kind of ice them both. Okay. Heal, but then wounds. No, going to shoot another one. Does the HP it. of either of them go up from this? Um, slowly over time. Okay. It's not like an immediate gotcha. recovery thing. Um, Monty seems to be sort of nursing that black eye on his own. He <laughs> seems like he's he's, tough. he's keeping it. Would you give it back to him? Oh, he wants to keep mm-hmm. a black eye back to I don't know. No. Seems proud. He's strong. He's proud. Did he heal at all? Did Monty heal at all? Um, ever so oh, slightly yeah. from uh, Bentley's attempt so to like bring down the swelling, yeah. But uh, from that first, that first hit, he's kind of recovering. But from that one real solid hit to his eye, he's sort of trying to keep that where it is. Okay. That's Congrats, dude. Thank you. I'm gonna pull Ladybug back into her Pokeball okay. so she can rest. Okay, cool. Monty's gonna sh- sit on my shoulder. Okay. As you were kind of doing some medicine checks to try to heal her. Um, that aura is just back, and she's Whoa. just sort of shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, as you go to Bug pull out the Pokeball, ass. she kind of is like, let's go, and just pops right back in. Nice. She seems cool. She's ready to team up. Yeah. She wanted a, a friend. Yeah. A fighting friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we Which continuing to I'm move not, towards but town? Me, I think. We finished food. We were ready After to go. lunch and... Ladybug catch. Quick nap. Are we ready to go? How much of the Cat nap? fish did we eat? Quick nap. Only one pound. Come on. Together? Yep. Yeah, if you yeah. guys are rationing it, you can eat yeah, it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll one say, one. given the the things you have access to, it's probably only good for a day or two. Can we dry it's it? It's a so that lot it of meat, stays? and it's sort of just in a backpack. There. All right, so three pounds we ate then. Really? <laughs> That's a lot. Let's make pierogies. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying we should Pierogies. dry the fish so yeah. it lasts longer. Oh yeah, let's not do that. Not eat three get, pounds. Get, get him <laughs> to do, do it. Okay, we ate one pound. He he gets to dry, dry it out. Dry it out. Put it in your de- dehydrator. Yeah, uh, can I smoke it with yeah. mortar? Sure. All right, let's see if I smoke the fish. Can I just dry do dry that? Or? Make a survival jam. Let's okay. just, let's I'll say you have advantage because yeah. mortar is helping you. Wait, well, hold on. it's different. We gotta dry it out. You're smoking it would be cooking it. Yeah, we want to just dry it out. Yeah. We don't want to burn it. Well. Smoke as in dry, yes. Either way, just go ahead and make a. We're make a survival We're check. We're arguing We're semantics. We're here. drying it yeah. up. Make a survival check. You have advantage because mortar's helping you. Uh, <clears throat> natural 20. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, you're able to, to the best of your knowledge and ability, you're able to dry out the fish meat. You're Sweet. Some pants here cool. with a garnish of. <laughs> some garlic? Some dried grass and a rock. For some reason, the fish has now turned into scallops. <laughs> <laughs> it's now a five Michelin star meal. <laughs> Alright, cool. We have food for days, two new team members of varying battling abilities. One that just steals stuff. <laughs> one that gave Monty two black eyes. I mean, he's a box quick. Oh, yeah. Cool. So let's keep going towards the town? Uh, yeah. resting. Well, it's like the middle of the day. No, I'm good. Yeah, it's probably 10, 10.30. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, super early. Just keep yeah, keep yeah. That was an early lunch, y'all. Yeah. All right, All as right. you guys continue on towards the town, uh, the better part of the day passes and you still are, you're noticing not a lot of 
foot traffic on these on these roads. Uh, as you keep walking, let's have one person make a group perception check. Is it CJ? Do it up. What is that? 14. 14 plus 17. Nice. 17. All right, as you guys are walking, CJ, you hear the very distinct sound of a Pokeball opening. And you see... Uh, <laughs> You see a little chef's hat sort of <laughs> pop out right beside you. Bro. <laughs> he sort of jumps up, slaps your hand. Oh, He's okay. like, what's up? Gives you a little high five. Hi. And just scampers off ahead. Where is he going? Maybe <laughs> he watches your sentry with his little <laughs> chef's hat, just sort of holding it on and just like... Okay, so we're going to follow him. Okay. Yeah, he's... Is he he's on being the beat. road, or did he go off he's, the path? He's staying on the road, but he's kind of zigzagging back and forth. Okay. Making Let's a bunch of tracks. Follow Sentra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're following. We're following. Yeah, okay. yeah. As he runs further and further ahead, you guys can... You get the very familiar smell of cooking fish. What? Interesting. Did we make a circle? <laughs> no. No. It's amazing. Still moving forward. CJ, you're probably the fastest of the group. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with him. Uh, you're... Relatively able to. He's he's fast, but you're, you're pretty fast yourself. Um, you come upon another small campsite. This one has two tents. Um, you see three individuals sitting around um, a cook pot. And you can see the centrite is sort of like back to the wall, sort of uncharted style, looking past the <laughs> tent towards the <laughs> the grill. <laughs> Bro, he's hungry. Stop it! He's hungry. <laughs> he, Do something! Don't. He looks at you. It just goes. It just sort of tucks around the corner into one of the tents. No! He's gonna. He's what? using what? the chef's hat as his burglary bag. He's just stuck on the He lifts it up and there's just like? a bunch of stuff I wanna, in it. I wanna look at these people before okay. I get any uh, closer. Balancing yeah. Go ahead and make a perception check. Let's see what you can see. What you can see. Uh, unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, you see <clears throat> somebody wearing a, a glove very similar to, to Milos. Uh, looks like a like a bird catching uh, oh, brother, like a bird keeping glove. Uh oh, oh and Joel's not healed a, up. That's bad. We Why should have that? rested. <laughs> well, if they would let me finish, they would oh, figure it out. Sorry. It's a it's a a girl probably in her late teens, oh. um, with sort of short blonde hair. Um, <laughs> there's a there's a a uh, man sitting across from her. Old enough to be her father, um, probably in his mid thirties. Um, he's got on a, a like red jacket, um, some basic kind of like cargo pants. Um, he's got a fisherman's hat on. Does he have a beard? He does not have a beard. Okay. Um, and there's a a younger younger kid, a, a young boy who's got a a, a big kind of like pit helmet on. Um, he's holding a bug net. Um, and he's got these. He's got little shorts on. He's wearing a little little shirt with a vest on. He's got some like fishing tackles on there. Um, and they're just kind of sitting around, tucking in for some some early lunch. I'm gonna approach them and tell them that. Don't talk about. It. Don't I feel like it. I feel like we should be transparent here because if he just comes out with all their stuff, they're gonna be pissed. We'll just apologize. No, we need we need to, to we need to be very open here. I think I'm gonna walk up and say hi. I not, don't think not, that's a good idea. I feel like you're the least charismatic person on the team. That's fine. No, I that's okay. So I you walk up and say I'm, hi? I'm, yeah, I'm going to walk up and say hi. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to introduce myself. I'm going to walk up to him and just say hi. grunt. I know. <laughs> okay, so you kind of walk up and just go, Ooh, hey, what's up? <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to <laughs> try to explain that this forest boy doing? <laughs> my friends are with me, and one of their Pokemon is a Sentret, and he's very sticky-fingered, and he just went in their tent. Okay. Uh, the, the older man just goes, It's no problem, we see those all the time. Which tent is he in? Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot which one he went into. Okay. I was so worried about getting here, and then I wanted to know if I'm going to stop talking. He says, That's fine. We get him all the time. And he goes, Come on out, Chip. And he throws his Pokeball out, and another Sentra shows up. Um, his is also wearing kind of a, a big floppy sun hat. They love hats. <laughs> and he so sort of walk. He sort of wanders into the tent, and you hear <laughs> the, the very distinct sound <laughs> of like you hear a little bit of that, 
and the very distinct sound of like a pot clanging into something metal. Oh God. Um, it sounds like they're kind of rustling through some stuff. And they they both walk out. Chip is holding what can only be described as like half of a baguette. And Centret comes out hold, wearing his little chef's hat and holding a ladle. <laughs> and the man just goes, well, they found our cooking tent. That's fine. It's all good. Come on back, Chip. And he sort of Pulls him back in, and the baguette just sort of falls limply, and the center just goes. <laughs> Except he goes, whatever, you can have it. It's fine. He goes, I, I appreciate your honesty. It uh, means a lot in these, in these times. What do you mean by these times? You just. Yeah, can we no. charisma check that? Like, <laughs> ask him what he's talking about? What if he's just all caught up? answering? Have we, yeah, have we, we all caught, caught up? up? Are we yeah, that at, this, slow? at this point, yes. You okay, see, we're not that slow. Phoebe, you see your Sendra <laughs> holding a ladle and half a baguette um, in front of a a tent occupied by the, the three aforementioned individuals. Alright, I'm apologizing to them for his. He goes, oh no, it's, it's no problem. Uh, Chip Chip gets himself into trouble sometimes as well. We, we, we've been there with him. Tend to find it helps if you uh, keep his hands full. <laughs> This is a good note. Just All right. Give him Michael Jackson those. What did you mean by these times? Is that what these times. By well, no. Then he's just going to steal stuff and being fabulous. Okay. <laughs> All right. She's got a glove like you. Go talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> I, take, I take my glove out of my bag and I just kind of hold it okay. in oh, front of me. So the little yeah. boy. <laughs> the little boy runs up to you and goes, My name is Lyle. I challenge you to a battle. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to try and heal you more? Oh, yeah. It's on right now. I don't yeah. know that you have the, time. The older man goes, you don't have to if you don't want to. Lyle's just very energetic. <laughs> uh, I'll, I can kid. step in and battle I, Lyle. Yeah, I got in a battle earlier. I'm a little worse for wear. but He goes, oh, no kidding. Well, have, have a seat. Let's take a look. Let's see what we can do for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, Monty's still out on my yeah. shoulder, and then I pull the out my lady. Okay. <laughs> There's no one else around. They're both I know, it's shady. Yeah, but they, they seem super nice. Uh, the older oh, guy yes. goes, I realize I haven't told you my name. My name's Daniel. He reaches out to shake your hand. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> he goes, well, this is my daughter, Jess. That's my son, Lyle. Yeah, okay, so folk. we confirm that they're a family. They Jess and family. Lyle. So I've got, yeah, I've got Monty and Lady Bud okay. out. Daniel kind of sits down and he pulls out uh, some bandages and uh, some ice packs. And he's like, do, do you mind? But not at all. <laughs> the Lady Bud just sort of saunters up, plops down in front of him, just holds out kind of bruised arms. The big, like, crack in the, in the chest is just like, yeah, fix me, please. <laughs> uh, Monty is hesitant at first. But seeing that you're relatively comfortable eventually does settle in and allow Daniel to kind of do his work so your, your team is now back up to, to fighting fit. Sweet. Okay. Can I ask Daniel if it would be okay if Lyle and I battle? Friendly battle? Yeah. Since the, the second you mentioned, like, would it be alright if we, we battle? Lyle's like, I challenge you to a battle! <laughs> Okay. Lots of really cool. All right. Well, let's like saunter a little bit away from the campsite, so we're not. It's like right that. here, right now. <laughs> let's <laughs> battle. All right. And Dan right. goes, Lyle, take it like twenty feet away from camp at least. We're not having another scuff. <laughs> another scuff. My goodness. All right. Fine. All right. Woo! I want to battle this kid. He's got some. Right. He's got some grit. Both finished. Sir. Three. Three! Three. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right, Mortar. As Lyle sort of saunters up to you and just goes, It's time for battle! <laughs> oh, God. He throws out a ladybug of his own. Oh, oh, oh snap! Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. That is a 20 to hit you. Oh, God. Four. Oh, what's this? His, uh, first hit is three damage. That's insane. Second one's a miss. Third one's a natural one to hit you. Like he has to roll that in order higher to hit you. Six damage. What? What? Yeah. That's time. Fourth one is a miss. Three. Fifth one is a miss. So two hits for nine damage total. 
All right, well, that already did half my health, so that's terrifying. Lyle's not to be fucked with. Dude, I, so the I, people who are wanting to... I went from 16 to 6 from when it attacked me. Mr. Yeah. Milo, you notice that this ladybug does not have that crazy supercharged door. Oh, sweet. Interesting. All right. I, I thought I got it from doing the... Fancy uh, one. You found a fancy one. But it, right. is, it is to you. I'm going to fire punch. Okay. Fire uh, 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 is very substantial. So that'll hit? Oh yeah. Okay, and then this is the 10, right? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so it's a D10 plus 3, 7, 10 damage. 10 damage! Gross. As Mortar sort of saunters up, pounding that arm into the ground as he does to hype himself up, <laughs> he's, he sets it of just on fire, which is like... Fire and magma leaking out of his arm. Yeah, as he just sweet. leans in and just pounds this ladybug. It sort of staggers back a few feet, blinks a few times, and is just face down. Woo! And I was like, whoa! <laughs> that was crazy! How did you do that? You oh, gotta show me. And then he goes, alright, come back. There's no way you defeat my second. Oh. My second and stronger Pokemon. Oh, oh shit. God. He's so much stronger than yours. <laughs> you won't even know. Mewtwo. <laughs> it's what friggin' asked for. Mini Lyle. Just <laughs> throwing out legendaries. Alright. Here we go. Let's roll initiative four. <clears throat> I rolled a four. Wow. Um, I don't have to re-roll, right? I'm just stuck at three. Uh, I'll, I'll let you re-roll. Oh, it's okay. a new, it's a, we'll say it's a new combat. Seven? Seven, you're going first. Sweet! As a spinner rack enters the battle. Oh, oh boy. Little, little tiny spider. Ooh. Little spider. Okay, well, uh, especially since I go first this time, I'm gonna fire punch again. Okay. And it is a 16. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. And. Uh, does four damage. Four damage. All right. As you as he goes in for a follow up punch, it just kind of brings brings down like a club. The spin rack is quick. He's able to okay. sort of dodge out of the way, but that fiery outburst sort of catches him in the belly. He looks remarkably uncomfortable. He's gonna go in for a poison fang. That sounds terrifying. Oh, no. That's a five. That is not gonna hit you. Woo! As poison just begins leaking out of the front of this thing, his little pincers primed and ready. As he leaps towards Mortar, Mortar just sticks his arm up and the pincers go around it and he just flexes and throws him off. Yeah, buddy. And it's back to you. Alright, I will again go for Fire Punch. Mortar's just swole. That is a natural one. Natural one. As he comes down for the fire, he sort of slams it into the ground again. Spinarak, this time aware of you. Uh, spits some webs down and traps his bigger arm into the floor. <laughs> and this time he would come in for a leech life. That is a 13 to hit you. So if it ties, it hits me. If it ties, it hits you. Not great. You take two points of damage, and Spinarak regains two HP. Oh my god, this is really not going well. Did I even damage him? Or? Oh, I guess you I did. did. You did. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Alright, so do I have to, like, do anything to get my the hand off? Nope. Okay. Just flavor. Alright, I'll fire punch again. Natural one again. <laughs> That's you're, terrible. You're able to... Mortar's able to set the webs on fire and free his arm. And as he comes in for another big punch, spinner acts quick. Shoots another web into his eyes, and the punch just goes wild. Oh my god. Order is now first. considered blinded. Great. I'm gonna lose. It's over. Oh, yes. Here comes yeah, another poison. Where's, come. where's that battle ready attitude we saw earlier? <laughs> you can do this. That's a 16 to hit. Oh god. Might be game. Oh, that's fine. You take one point of poison damage. And you need to make a constitution saving throw for Mortar. Okay, so what Water. Water. modifier does he have? Uh, try the d20, I'll let you know if you even need it. One again. One again. 
I think the odds of that are like 1 in 1080 or something. That's crazy. Three times in a row. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, Mortar is now considered poisoned and blinded for a minute. Poisoned for a minute. Blind for until he fixes that. But it is back to you. So am I at like disadvantage now because I'm blinded? You are at disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks because you're poisoned oh and blinded. So am I like forced? Like I can't hit him? Oh no, you can you can try to clear your eyes and not be blinded. But How do look, I do that? That's just you can just use your bonus action to try to pull webs off your eyes. All right, I'm gonna try and do that with Mortar's smaller, more dexterous arm. Get rid of this. Blinding. As you reach up and he kind of like rubs his eyes, he gets most of the webbing off. He is now able to see. Okay, that's at least something good. <clears throat> he is still poisoned. Okay, so again, fire punch. Not a one. Please. If you're I right, roll a fourth one in a row, two, right? you are at disadvantage on this. On account of the yeah, poison. Right, okay. So the first one is an eight. Plus three would be eleven. Okay. The second one. Is a six, so eleven it is. Probably doesn't hit. No, it'd be not. Yeah, it'd be the worst one because you're disadvantaged. Yeah. Oh right, so yeah, it's six. Eleven would have hit. Nine does not. Oh, why is it nine? Because you're so disadvantaged. You're roll two. Well, I roll, I roll a, I rolled a three plus three was oh, six. Oh, oh so you rolled a six. 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 No, six. Rolled a six with. Regardless, yeah. that one's not quite, not quite oh, there. Mortar, what are you doing, buddy? This <laughs> mortar is just. Is getting frustrated with his attack. The poison's sort of coursing through him. He's just furious, slamming his fists into the ground. He's developing a little bit of a hot hit. What? He's getting furious. Uh, the spinner axe gonna miss on his next attack. He goes in for another bite and just, as borders sort of flailing around, spinner axe trying to find a window to get in, just can't quite get there. <sighs> All right. Um, so. I'm, I can't get rid of the poison, right? I'm just disadvantaged the rest of the way. Alright, well, Draw fire punch again. One whole minute. There we go. That's 18 and 19. Nice. Both, both would do. Okay. Come on, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do? A 1 on the roll plus 3 is 4 damage. So you had How 7, is you did 4. <laughs> you recovered 2. Did for it. Mm -hmm. Is it one? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Here goes another leech life. That's a 17 to hit. One damage. Take one point of damage, spinner axe back up to 2 HP. God. Where are you at? He's hanging in there. Five. And then he's at three now? He's at two. He's at two. He's at one. Alright. He's currently at two. Fire punch again. 19. 15. 15 will hit? God. Alright, not a 1, please. Well, even at a yeah. 1, you'll kill him. 7 plus 3 is 10. Alright. Mortar, furious and just enraged at this point, brings up the big arm, and you can see it's now, like, substantially more swole than usual. Um, you can see that some of the veins on it are, are pulsating. As fire just starts leaking out of his arm, he just goes, goes clobbers Spinarak, sends it flying a good ten feet across the field. Before it can hit, Lyle's over there diving to catch it. Just goes, bruh, how did you defeat my ultimate Pokemon? Dude, it was not how easy. How did you do Lyle. it? It was not easy, Lyle. <laughs> I don't want to get into it, Lyle. <laughs> <laughs> as Lyle brings it back, uh, Daniel comes up to you and goes, here, this will help for. For your little guy's poison. It's a it's a little bit of anti venom from right. Spinarak. Well, I use that on mortar, so he's not freaking poisoned. Here you go. He is no longer poisoned. And Daniel looks over loud and goes, "Aren't you forgetting something, boy?" And he goes, "Yeah." He walks over and he hands you just a crumpled up five dollar bill. Sweet, five bucks. Hi. <laughs> Woo! Did you say it was a bet? No, it's just no. It's kind of just how it is works. it? You battle and the you loser know, has to. The loser yeah. pays it. It works both ways, so, so if you lose, you gotta pay up. So how much total cash do I have on me now? What I'll, I I'll say with? you're probably like 17 bucks. Uh, so can I ask Sir Daniel if I can get some of that uh, that sweet, sweet healing medicine, medicine treatment yeah. that 
our other team members got Absolutely. post Lyle battle. He sort of so he sort of tries to calm Mortar down, who's still just fuming and like punching the ground with his big arm. As the poison is sort of leaving his system, he does start to calm down. It's good. Uh, you can see he's got two big pincer marks right on his torso. And he's just like, ah, and he's sort of clutching with the the smaller, more dexterous arm. Well, as Daniel comes over and hands you some some bandages and sort of helps you wrap them up. I was just gonna say, can I ask him about this? Yeah, he'll he'll kind of sit with you and walk you through sort of what he's doing. Okay. And he goes, I actually have a, a spare medical kit if you're interested. Frick yeah! That's hell yes! Like. Frick yeah! Hell yes! Yeah. Yeah. Hell yes! Yeah. yeah. So he hands you. It's a. It's not. It's nothing too flashy. It's mostly just like some gauze and some band aids. Um, but it, it's definitely stuff that'll help you keep wounds cleaner and heal up a little bit quicker. Daniel, what's what's your deal? Where's your family from? Why are you out in the woods? We're actually from Oriander City. We're just we're out here on a camping trip. Actually, where we're headed. Yeah. Yeah. What can we kidding. expect from Oriander City? Yeah. Smell the manure mostly. And some citrus. I was gonna say we smell a lot more citrus than uh, than manure. Yeah, we Thank actually you. get in there. If the That's manure takes the shit over. Shit is not making it this way. <laughs> he says, uh, if you're heading into town, look up uh, look up Mitch and Terry. They run the the Toro stables down there. Ooh. Might help you get where you're going a little closer. Ooh. We might have sweet, sweet rides. How long have, uh, um, Lyle, how long have you and, and Ladybug been together? I caught Ladybug a week ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about Spinarak? Spinarak has been my friend for a whole year. <laughs> Do they have names? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I caught a Ladybug yesterday, and I don't know a lot about him, but. Mine kind of... Would you like to battle my ladybug with your ladybug? <laughs> sure. Yeah, let's do yes. it! Snap. He's like, throw down! I love Lyle! Lyle's the best. Lyle's like, throw down with me, let's go. So is, We're going to battle. is Mortar all healed up now? Mortar is all healed up. Yeah, let's go Ladybug dice! You don't even know! Ladybugs! <laughs> it's basically it's going to come down to who lands the first hit. Yeah! Alright, but the ladybugs are going to throw down. that to me? Yeah. yeah. For head cannon purposes. You want Daniel to explain the, the yeah. bug's energy? Um, Phoebe might actually be able to do it. Ooh, do it entirely. Sick. Possible. Sick. Do Phoebe, it. do it. I'm explaining what my aura is. Let me see your palm. <laughs> do it, Phoebe. <laughs> Maybe 17. Yeah. 17? Yeah. Um, so, so Phoebe, you would know. Unnatural. Okay. Um, you would know that some ladybugs are fiercely devoted to training. Like. Okay. Day in, day out, constantly, and you you get a lot of them at the hospital. They they show up. They they've pushed themselves way too far. They're training under conditions that shouldn't be possible. Just too exhaustion. Yeah, and some of them, after enough of this training, start to develop this aura that shows up around them and makes them fierce competitors, especially in close up combat. Did you catch up? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it! But I was like, okay, it's time to throw it down. I will use only later, but you use only later. But done. I agree. Let's go. The parameters have been set. Go ahead and roll for initiative. Eleven. Eleven. Oh! What right. happens now? Okay, you're right. They stared at each other. Stand roll a D4. Nah, do it. They're gonna comma punch each other at the same time. Yo! Yes! just <laughs> whoever rolls enough damage to take the other one out wins. Ready? Oh my god, this is insane. This is sick. Two. One. Let's go! So, this lady was making two attacks, you're just making three. We're gonna make them at the same time. Ready? Oh okay. god. First attack. So, what am I rolling? D20. Okay. Oh, this is your to hit. Ready? Four. Nine. Oh. Plus two? Or sorry, I'm at six, even though you. Your aura is active, so you have an extra four. Oh, so eight? Wouldn't be ten. No, no. What did you roll? I rolled a four. Well, the four, so you're at eight. <laughs> Seven, that's a nine. So the first two both just. Whew, Wide miss. Attack number two. Five. Well, so nine. Nineteen. Wow. Uh oh. You're in trouble. Lyle's about to mess you up. <laughs> you take two points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then make your third attack. Seven. So eleven. Jeez. Eleven. 
Oh, I'm gonna hit. Oh. Okay. So which one, one am I rolling? Uh, you're gonna roll this one. I'm gonna throw it to you. It's a D3. Oh, what in the heck? Wild card. A one. A one. Okay, so this ladybug takes one damage. This is quite the... It's not good, it's not great, but it's not bad. Quite the scuffle. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Roll another d4. Okay. That's a four. Three. Okay. So here we go again. Attack number one. Okay. Natural 22. Oh! Okay. oh <laughs> go ahead and throw the d3. Ladybug, you were so legit earlier. <laughs> Where's this aura? That's a three on the damage, so that's a six. Oh, oh no. I'm dead. Oh, Your ladybug goes HP down. Yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Ladybug got toasted. Lyle wins. He's so oh. excited. Lyle, 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 Lyle. Lyle's like, yes, I told you my ladybug was so good. Good job, Lyle. Thank you. Good job to you as well. Your ladybug has a cool aura. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> we're, still, we're still learning. My ladybug glows blue. What? Where's Whoa. your ladybug glow? <laughs> he. She. Glows purple. Okay. Purple. That has ramifications later on. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> purple is the worst glow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst aura. It's the worst aura of all the glories. You have to, you have to pay up. Pay Lyle. How much money do I have? You have like eight bucks. Eight yeah. bucks? Yeah. That sucks. I'll give him three dollars. Three dollars. Yeah. Lyle's like, thank you so much. I'll use this. <laughs> thank you. What are you going to do? Just gonna buy a bunch of bubble gum and yeah. like freaking A. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I thought you had him from the yeah. from the jump what there. Yeah. Can, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna see. Uh, yeah, I'll bring her out and see if uh, Phoebe wants to give her the practice she's been getting from Daniel. I'm gonna give Daniel some sticks for all the work he's done. Do do yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Do I have to do I'm a wisdom for that? It's just medicine. Ah. So it's You're rolling so Seven. bad. Seven. Together. Okay. So bad. Uh, you've stabilized Ladybug. Okay. But it's still unconscious. <laughs> Solid. She's not going to go into a coma. <laughs> TV needs more practice. TV needs more practice. Uh, so Daniel, how far are we roughly from Oriander City? By foot on your little legs, probably three days. Wow. It keeps getting longer. The more we get, this is what like some city? weird. How, did you guys walk out here? Did yeah. It's like this dystopian route. How long route. have you been out here? We've been out here about a week. Have you seen oh, anyone else? Yeah. But Where? there's people all the time, just not in the last day or so. Uh, Roads have been quiet. On. Is there something going Three on at this city? Oriander City? Yeah, is there a party going on? Yeah, there's actually the Harvest Glow Festival. Oh. Glow, but not for a purple glow, though. <laughs> <laughs> in a certain light, I guess. Uh, uh, how long is that going on Yeah, for? yeah. Yeah. yeah, what is Harvest Handful of days. We like to get out of town before it brings in a lot of tourists. What is Harvest Call? It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a celebration. <laughs> it's, a, it's a celebration of, uh, of our unity with the Pokemon that we've, we've built the town with in Oregon. Uh, it's, a, it's a celebration of the Tauros and the Milk Tank. There are two sort of... Milk Tanks? Yeah. Hell yes, let's go. <laughs> I believe. I want yeah. one of those. It's like it's a it's a celebration of all the work that they they put in to make sure that we have happy and livable lives. And that's what How big of Got a it. festival is it? It's certainly not the biggest, but we, we make do. How many people live in Oriander? Oriander, sorry. Twelve. Maybe like two, three hundred. Yeah. Not many. That's a very, very, very nice town. Jess, what kind of Pokemon do you have? Say. Have a knocked owl. Oh, kind of flicks her hair at you. Oh, <laughs> what? A knocked owl. Is there anything else? I get the vibe that Jess is just angsty teen. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's not say a word until we see a cast or something. Yeah. <laughs> Tegan, maybe you guys should talk. Why do I want to talk to them? I don't know. You guys seem like you got the same vibe. <laughs> I'm angsty? I don't know. You won't tell anybody anything about you. Neither will you. I. You won't ask me. What, what do you do with us? Huh? Wow. We're gonna do this right now. Where are you, where's your family? <laughs> yes. Lyle comes up and goes, What kind of Pokemon do you have? Me? Yeah. I I, I have a total dial. <gasps> Can I see him? Poof. Yes. You <laughs> can. <laughs> so His eyes are like lighting up. And outcomes crash. 
Hey, Lyle, be Grad careful. Grad sort of climbs out of your backpack. Lyle, don't touch him, though. He's like, oh, okay. Touch How come his fang is all missing? He, he, uh, well, when we met, he <laughs> kind of bit me on That's the arm. That's so cool. <laughs> and it got stuck in there. Well, I found a rack, he bit me in the leg, I almost died. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. Wow. Now my dad carries around anti-venom, so if Sparag bites me again, but he hasn't bit me in a whole year. Your dad's a smart guy. <laughs> very cool. Oh, I love Lyle. Lyle's a blast. Can we take him with us? <laughs> I don't think Daniel wants to <laughs> steal can Daniel's take your No, let's steal. We've asked Daniel if he could join us. Oh, that's funny. Maybe we'll take care of him. He's what, mm -mm. six? Mm -mm. He's probably like six or seven. <laughs> Easy cake. And he almost beat me in a battle. Did beat Milo in a battle. That's insane. What time of day is it now? Nighttime? After after all the battles, it's probably like two, maybe three. Oh wow. Okay, we have plenty of time. Should we keep rolling then? Um, I, mean, I, I I I feel like we should make some ground before the sun goes down. Wait, do you guys have a map of like where you're doing? Anything or any suggestions besides the festival? Travis or Mitch and Terry. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch and Terry. Terry. Travis and Sean. <laughs> Could you like draw on in my notebook like a brief <coughs> map of the city? Yeah, yeah I'll, I will get that for you in between sessions. Okay. Because uh, I only have one map. <laughs> I can't have it because <laughs> I need it. File, don't touch crash. <laughs> <laughs> He's like reaching do out. It. <laughs> like okay. I wasn't going to. Okay, if you do, he's gonna bite you. No. Probably. I wasn't going to touch it. Okay, no. just don't. Okay. Okay. Why does I it, like your why don't Crash and. You can touch Sentrap. My dad has one named Chip. <laughs> yeah, I saw Crash him. He's not down right now. He runs up and starts petting him. Turns out it's like, yes. Yes. Chip, um, I'm, just, I'm curious, Daniel, do you have anybody, any other Pokemon other than Chip? Uh, with me, no. We just bring Chip on the, on the fishing journeys. Nice. Lyle's always ready to fight, so he's got he's got his guys out. So, Daniel, for some young adventurers like us, where would be the best route to go once we get to Oriander and we move on? Could head up to Alluvia. It's a bit ritzy and half-fashioned for some kids, but they're not going to turn you away. And that would be north from Oriander? That's uh, north, northeast. Okay. It's like the route you'd want to take is 103. Is there a, a gym there? In the movie? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Let's go. Kyle's <laughs> uh, got aspirations to take that on. He's old enough. I feel like he is old enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty young, though. He's got that good aspirations. <laughs> He's got that. If Lyle can't do it, I surely can't. <laughs> Uh, what are, where do the other routes leading out of Oriander lead to, if you know? It's like, I believe 102 leads up to, I think, Green Gate, but that's a, that's a long road. Y'all don't want to walk that. Okay. <laughs> well, they have oh, Mitch, and, Mitch and Terry. They have Mitch and Terry. Oh, okay. we'll we can maybe get some sweet rides to traverse things. lands quicker and make this week-long journey into half a week. Do Mitch and Terry rent out uh, Tauros <laughs> for traversing lands? <laughs> they do. No. Oh, actually... Problem solved. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Money. Money. Yeah, that means money, though. Yeah. Does mean like Give him the Pokeball. Hell no. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Shit out of money. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, we got a um, gigantic fish earlier. We're gonna cook it up if you guys would like some. I'd be honored if you'd share that with us. Well, we dried it. Yeah. I was like, I like fish. I caught a fish earlier today. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. yeah. What'd you do? With it? And and Daniel goes. <laughs> 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 so I was like, I we caught a whole fish, but it got away. Oh, good try. Gotcha. <laughs> and Daniel's just like. <laughs> cool, cool. Right, we can so hang out for a bit and cook some dinner. Yeah. As you guys uh, prepare, <clears throat> prepare the the fish, and the sun starts to go down. That's where we'll call it for session one. Oh.
Nice. Okay. Chill. We're staying with them. Mm-hmm. Camp Daniel and Lyle and Jess, who is less cool. Yay. Yay. <laughs> with our heroes safely around the campfire with their new friend Daniel and his family, the road to Oriander City awaits. <laughs>